वेलकम बैक टू कोड टू नाइट इन टूडेज़ वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू इम्पोर्ट एनी एस क्यू एल फाइल डायरेक्टली इन द एस क्यू एल सर्वर सो दिस इज़ द सैम्पल एक्सेल फाइल दैट वी हैव ओवर हेयर एंड वट वी विल सी इज वी विल ट्राई टू इम्पोर्ट दिस इन द एस क्यू एल सर्वर सो मैनी टाइम्स पीपल हैव द डाटा विच दे वॉन्ट टू इम्पोर्ट इन द एस क्यू एल एंड दे डोंट हैव टू राइट एनी काइंड ऑफ कोड फॉर दिस पर्पज एंड दे कैन इम्पोर्ट दिस डायरेक्टली इन द डाटा बेस सो दिस इज ए सैम्पल डाटा बेस दैट वी हैव ओवर हेयर एंड वी कैन चूज एनी डाटा बेस टू इम्पोर्ट द डाटा सो करंटली यू विल सी दैट आई विल यूज दिस डाटा बेस डी बी टेस्ट and here are four tables available and we want to uh, import this excel sheet with three columns okay so um, what you can do is you can right click on the database where you want to import the excel sheet okay and here in the task you can go to the import data option there so after clicking the import data this screen will come here you have to click on next so here you have to choose the data source like uh, from where we are getting the data okay so basically our data source is the excel file so we will select the microsoft excel over here now uh, since it is a excel file we have to uh, uh, choose the path of the file and we will click on browse here so this is book 2 .xlx this is the file that we were just watching so that is the file i will select and now uh, it will select the excel version automatically so you don't have to worry about that now here is the check box that says first row has column names now if you will go to your excel if you think that first row is your column name then you can check box the you, you can check this check box if the first row is not a column name then you can uncheck this check box now you have to click on next here now here in the destination we have to choose uh, sql server native client 11.0 so now once you select this it will ask for the server name and the database name okay so you can have any server name that is on your system but on my system i have to write dot and that means local and i will use window authentication over here and if you have username and password for your database then you can use sql server authentication but for now i will use window authentication and here i have all the databases that uh, are on this server so basically i have to use db test over here and i can click on next so here uh, it is asking like two options that copy data from one or more tables or views so it will copy all the data and the other option will create a query that you have to execute manually to uh, copy the data so i will use the first option over here now we click, click on next so this sheet one is the name of the uh, actually the sheet here so sheet one you can see so this is the name that you are just seeing there so basically it has read the excel file and got the name here and uh, now uh, you can click on next so here you have, you can see that run immediately option over here you have to check this and click on next so it will again ask for your permission and finishing click on finish will execute the queries so here you can see that it is uh, uh, executing the 
uh, excel file script on the database and uh, once all of these are completed then uh, it will show the success or failed message over here uh, it can also fail sometimes so you have to try again but uh, if everything goes correctly then it will show a success message now you can close this and now we should go and refresh our database over here and in the tables so i have refreshed the database and i am now expanding the table to see that if we have got our new data uh, here or not so uh, you can see the tables here and you can see the first uh, table here that is sheet 1 and dollar sign so this is the same uh, table that we have just imported so i will we can click on a new query and we can actually check like if it it, it has the same data or not so uh, you can see that uh, these are the three columns country capital and currency which was in the excel file and you can also match the data afghanistan and uh, the first row and kabul and afghani so this is how you can uh, import data in your uh, uh, sql server database uh, directly uh, if you want to import the data in some other table then what you can do is you can import the data in a table like this first and then you can move the data from here to any table that you want okay so you can direct insert uh, use insert into query to insert this data uh, wherever you want okay so if you have any kind of issues then you can can also comment on the video so uh, thanks for watching guys